Uh, cool. Uh, 817, linked list components. Uh, actually, before I say that, yeah, make sure, uh, if you want to request a hard problem for after this problem, just put it in the chat and I'll get to it next uh, so that you don't have to, like, I don't know, wait to get a problem or something. Uh, but yeah, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, 817, linked list components. Um, we're given, we're given the head node of a linked list containing unique integer values. Uh, we are also given the list G, a subset of values in the linked list. We turn the number of connected components in G where two values are connected if they appear consecutively in the linked list. Uh, okay, I mean, I guess. I actually didn't, I mean, I read it out loud, but I didn't really read the part. What is that? So we have a node, we have a linked list. Uh, what are we, what is going on? Sorry, I'm just looking at the examples. Uh, so, geez. All right, let me reread this problem. I think this is so short that I have trouble kind of understanding. Okay, so the linked list have unique integer values, uh, a subset of values in the graph. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. And I'm, hmm. Okay, this is actually seems like a straightforward, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. I mean, this is like they use all the, well, it's straightforward in the sense that uh, they use all the keywords that you would like Google for anyway, like connected components is a thing that you can Google for as a graph term. Uh, also kind of, if you don't know what that means, then like, well, then it's going to be a rough time for you, but okay. Uh, yeah, so I, I don't know if there's anything tricky about this. Uh, so n is up to 10,000. So I think the thing that it's saying is then like don't use n square algorithms. Uh, the value of each node is, that's fine. Oh, well, it's just unique, so it doesn't really matter. And there's 10,000 nodes. Uh, well, I've, I mean, I've, yeah, it's not strongly co connected components for sure. I think it's just, uh, the, I think the phrasing is really weird. Uh, also, thanks for joining us all this month. But uh, I think the phrasing is a little weird. That's why I took like a couple of times of reading it just to make sure I get it right. But I think what it's saying is, hey, here's a linked list. Two adjacent uh, values on the linked list means that in the graph of things, they're connected or there's an edge between them, a bi-directional edge I'm, uh, uh, I'm reading. Uh, and then given this graph, of a subset of those, uh, you know, output the number of just connected components, which you can solve with either DFS or what I'm actually going to do, which is uh, union find. Uh, so I don't know how much to kind of go into it a little bit in the sense that, um, hmm, excuse me, uh, in the sense that, uh, like this is, I mean, the setup is a little weird. We could we could parse that out, but uh, but in terms of like the problem and solution, this is a very standard, like almost te or pretty much textbook, uh, 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 textbook problem about how to do connected components in which there are two, a couple of general ways. I mean, DFS slash BFS type thing, uh, uh, which you know you could do in V plus U time. Uh, or uh, union find, which does stuff at O of, it's o of n times the Ackerman constant, or, or actually the other one, the inverse Ackerman constant, I think, actually, which is effectively constant for the size of the universe or something like that. It's like four or five for the size of the universe. Uh, but yeah, I, mean, I think the implementation is pretty straightforward. So I've, yeah, I mean, I think. I don't know if there's anything I can really go into it. I think, uh, the, like, I'm not going to, like, essentially read a Wikipedia article to you about connected components. But, uh, but yeah, if you have a problem with this one, you would just kind of read up on it. it, it otherwise, it's straightforward. But, uh, but yeah, let me do that now. Um, yeah, it's just really worded 
really. That's why I have to read it like four or five times, even though once you get it, it's a very straightforward poem. Uh, uh, I think there could be a tricky one, though, cool guy. Like, uh, I don't know if this is an example, but uh, no. But you can imagine. You know, is there something easier than Union Find? But Union Find is so efficient. <laughs> uh, Yeah, so the adjacent values would determine the graph. Um, but like in this case, if 2 is there, mm, I see what you're saying, actually. Uh, almost like an inverse thing where like oh, if 2 is not there, then you start uh, uh, the next one, right? Yeah. You're probably you're possibly right. I mean, I can't think of a. I don't know if there's a weird kind of kind of example of it. Though the thing is not. Let me think. I mean, I think you're right. Uh, or like my my into like I wonder if say you're right. But I also just want to prove to myself that you're correct, because uh, I think if I just do union find, which is pretty standard and very easy and something that I know to be true just because, you know, but, uh, or like, I mean, it's, it's not even, I don't think it's actually even easier to imp implement. I think it's just that, like, I don't have to convince myself that it's true, right? Like, I think it's kind of similar to what we're talking about the, on the other problem with, like, greedy versus whatever. Like, to me, like, like that seems like a, a thing that, like, you're right. It, I think it actually may be true, but then, like, but Union Fight, I don't have to prove to myself it's true. I just implemented and oh it's it's right and it's all and you know but I I think I'm gonna try to do it your way though. Uh I think if a node is not in the graph then then yeah and then you just go through it in linear thing and then just kind of keep it counting. Alright, well I mean this might actually be wrong but if not I'll just implement you then fine. So it's fine. But uh but I think uh, let's give it a go. Um now let's put this in a set. Uh, does this work? I actually don't remember. Oh, hold on. Because if that's the case, then okay, that that does work. Um, hmm. Head is a linked list, okay. Uh, mm. And now you have an no, that's not quite. I mean, it's maybe okay, but it's not sufficient. Uh, well, let's just do something like this. And that's the second time in this week that I forgot to do uh, move the while loop. Oops. Huh. Oh, that point is that way. What am I doing? Pointer dot wow, okay. Well, so I guess this is an else if. Uh, okay. Well, it's not even an else if it's just else.
Mm. Mm. And also put in the other little one. Yeah, hmm, cool. Wow. Well, I would say mad props to uh, a cool guy that you do. I definitely did not really think about it that much. Uh, I think. Uh, is this, is, oh, well, well, actually I messed up a little bit. I, I meant to print, comment out the print statement and instead I comment out the setting to set. So actually this is linear time. So this, actually I have more time to time out, but it still didn't. Whoops. I don't know why I commented that out. I think I just, well, I thought this was the print statement. Uh, so that's why it, this is so slow, but, uh, huh, well, I guess let's submit it again then. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, <clears throat> that was just a little careless, but uh, cool. Um, I think, uh, yeah, once again, Matt Pops to a cool guy 93. I think, uh, you're right, my intuition that I was going to just use Union Set just because, or Union Find Set, uh, just because it's very straightforward to implement. Uh, but I didn't really think about the problem. I think I just kind of, huh, so I retract a lot of what I said about the connected component this part. Uh, and this is actually, but I think the, I don't know. I mean, I think, uh, in, so there are a couple of contexts to consider. One is that if I was doing this uh, on a on a programming contest type thing, like a comp uh, competition programming, I would, to be honest, probably just do it in Union Fine because I, uh, because, you know, I I know Union Fine. I could crank it out. I could submit it. I know that work because it's O of N, uh, and you could. Uh, uh, yeah, and you can get it done pretty quickly. Uh, and you don't have to prove anything, you just know it's correct. Uh, where here, uh, I might you know, spend some time trying to prove myself that it's correct, and you know, you lose time that way and so forth. Uh, but that said, um, for an interview, definitely, uh, yeah, it's just, I mean, it is what, uh, but yeah, for, uh, for an interview, um, like if I was an interviewee getting interviewed, uh, that is actually not, Good. I mean, I think like the uh, the interviewer would uh, most definitely push back on it. We're like, hey, are you sure you need this union fine? Can you do something simpler or something like that? Well, like, you know, assuming. Uh, and then it would kind of force me to slow it down a little bit. I think one of my tendencies is that I rush through these forms uh, a little bit. Uh, so I think that's kind of a good kind of lesson to poke me to kind of remember to make sure it is right. Uh, like you said, uh, yeah, I mean, this is, it's almost like a weird, well, I mean, it's literally a linked list. I just kind of, uh, sometimes I think, <laughs> what's that saying go? Uh, if you have a hammer, everything looks like a nail. So I think I just didn't really, uh, and all of N was definitely sufficient in terms of time complexity and space is the same as here because uh, in putting in a set, I, any, you know, it's all of N anyway, right? Uh, in terms of space uh, and the time, so I, both of them are the same, but, I, you know, this one is uh, uh, slightly better. I think Union Fine ha does have a constant. Uh, and, you know, even if you, so there are a couple of Union Finds you could look it up. I mean, I, I'm just doing hand waving things for now. But uh, but if you don't do path compression and if you don't kind of uh, uh, do a little bit of balancing, uh, Union Fine can uh, degenerate into a little bit more expensive, like possibly N square. Uh, but if you do do those things, uh, which you can do it in a couple of lines of code. It's not difficult, but it's just more lines of code that you may get wrong. Uh, so in that world, then this is like, I mean, this the core of this code is, you know, like eight lines of code or something like that, right? So, uh, so yeah, yeah, I mean, I think, thanks for the reminder of kind of, uh, you know, really solve the problem and not just, you know, do the bare minimum. Uh, maybe it's a good lesson in life in general, but that's another story. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that's my feedback. Uh, that's what I think is an interviewee and kind of postmortem on what, how I solved this problem. Uh, and also it's just really wordy, like really wordy in general. Uh, 
but good observation on that is a linked list, even though they tell you it's a linked list, but I think, yeah, I just solved kind of a more hardcore problem. Uh, not that much more, so that's why. But, uh, but yeah, as an interviewer, uh, I think this is a cute problem. Um, and, you know, getting your interviewee to kind of have this solution, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of cool, but I, I don't know if it kind of gives me that much value. Uh, I mean, I, maybe it's okay, but well, one is the problem statement itself is a little uh, weird to parse, uh, but but if you're doing an interactive loop with another person, then maybe then you can kind of uh, clarify things very quickly. So maybe that's not as bad. Uh, but but I'm wondering like what value does this give over uh, over just like a standard or like more standard uh, connected components problem, but disguised a little bit with like you know there are many ways to kind of uh, 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 disguise a connected components. I mean there's the uh, you know, like, there are a lot of different ones, which I'm sure you find in different ways, but uh, I don't know if this one has advantage over that. Uh, I think I don't, I think as a result, I don't know how much I feel about this. I mean, it's a fine problem by itself. I have to ask it, it's fine. But I also think, like, you know, why make things more complicated than necessary? Uh, you would change length to be a billion with... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I agree with that. I think for me, it's just... Um, Oh yeah, yeah. Looking back at the code, I agree with that. I think for me, it's just uh, when when I type these things out, it's kind of almost like a stream of conscious thing, and I'm just like, okay, I need a length e type thing. I don't know if boolean is sufficient. I mean, maybe it is, maybe it doesn't. And it turns out that it, you know, since we only have, you know use these things here, like we could have done a boolean for sure. Uh, but I think for me, it was like. Uh, uh, like I wanted to go back. Uh, I mean, at, at, in the moment, I was thinking, uh, does it matter what the length is? Uh, I'm not sure. So let's just put it. In. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's it's kind of an excuse e thing, but but uh, but yeah, definitely you're right in that. Like, uh, if I were to kind of go back and document this code, I'm like, oh yeah, actually, this means something else now that I know what the solution actually looks like, uh, and then I'll clean it up and so forth. Um, uh, yeah, but like, in, and also in that world, like you don't even need some of these things, but uh, maybe, hmm. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I think there's a cute problem with a cute, like, greedy-ish solution, if you will. Uh, and it's something that, yeah, I don't know how I feel about it quite yet. Maybe I have to kind of look back on it. I mean, I think otherwise it's a pretty straightforward, uh, not, you know, it's as straightforward as a connected components problem is. Uh, I mean, it even tells you how to do it, so maybe that's the, uh, the head fake or red airing or whatever. <laughs>